All right, friends, we are going to draw a narwhal. You need your paper to be vertically, which means that your two short sides are at the top and the bottom, and your long sides are on the on the each side. Uh, we are going to, Ms. Walden's going to use a marker so that you can see what she's doing, but if you'd like to use a pencil, that would be better just in case you make any mistakes. Uh, you can use a marker later to color around the outline if you'd like. All right, so the first thing we're going to do to draw our narwhal is we are going to draw a tear shape or a drop shape upside down. We're going to start at the bottom of our paper. We're going to come up, around, and back down, just like that. We're going to do four more tier shapes in different places on our narwhal. So we're going to draw two tier shapes here at the bottom to give our narwhal their tail fins. And then we're going to kind of draw two tier shapes up here for their fins. Tear shape here and a tear shape here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give our narwhal a cute little mouth. We're going to draw a curved line, slightly curved, and then a bigger curve down here. And then you're going to draw another curve inside of this shape. And then you can take your pencil or your marker and you can go ahead and color this part in. Or you can wait for your crayons. That's up to you. Next, we're going to give our narwhal some eyes. We're just drawing two little circles like this. Now we're going to draw the tusk on top of our narwhal, and it is just a skinny, really skinny triangle. Like that. And then we're going to draw some diagonal lines to give it just a little bit of detail. Great. I'm going to draw some water at the top here. I'm going to make my tusk peek out just a little bit. And because we are in the Arctic, I'm going to draw an iceberg. The way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to draw some, almost some squiggly lines just like that. All right, let's color him. press a little bit harder here on my iceberg when it is underwater. I want it to look different than the top of the iceberg up here. So I'm just pressing down a little bit harder with my blue crayon. And I'm going to use different shades of blue for my sky and for my water. It's up to you how you want to color yours.
Alright, and there's your cute little narwhal. Arctic animal.